Jesus compared being born again to the wind. The wind blows where it wishes and you hear the sound of it, but you can't tell where it comes from or where it goes. So is everyone who is born of the Spirit, Jesus said in John 3 verse 8. So it raises this question, how is being born again like the wind? Well, first of all, the wind is necessary. Without it, all the crops would die, actually. Without the work of the Holy Spirit, we will die in our sins. Second, the wind is sovereign. It blows when, where, how, and on whom it wants. The work of the Holy Spirit is sovereign too. That's why we cannot demand to be born again, but we can pray to our sovereign God, blow with your life-giving spirit into my dead soul. Third, the wind is mysterious. Weather forecasters are better at predicting the weather today compared to Jesus' day, but they still make big mistakes. They don't have all the answers. They can't explain everything. So it is with the work of the Holy Spirit. Sometimes it's truly surprising who God decides to give new life to. Look at me. Fourth, the wind is effective. It has visible effects on what it blows on. The trees sway, the flowers bend, the waves rise. So, when the Spirit blows, you, you cannot tell where it comes from, or where it's going, but you can see the results in someone's life. Fifthly, the wind is varied. And so is the new birth. So sometimes the new birth is like a, a sudden hurricane that suddenly turns a life upside down. Other times it's like a gentle breeze which blows over many years until a person comes to realize, I, I think I've been changed. But they hardly notice that happening. And if you want to be born again, put yourself where the Holy Spirit most frequently blows. And that is, under the preaching of God's word in your local church.